Is copper really the most reliable recession indicator? Let's put it to the test. If copper can warn you of a crash before it happens, would you not want to know? Hi, I'm Ace, and I've built my portfolio to 400k in under just 5 years. And I've learned that the best investors, Buffett included, track signals that the average investor ignores. Now, what is copper? Now, some people call copper Dr. Copper because they say it has a PhD in economics supposedly predicting recessions before they even happen. But is this actually true or just a cool nickname? Let's look at copper before the dot-com crash in 2000. Now prices spiked in September then started falling. However, it correlates exactly with the S&P 500 crash rather than preceding it. Now 2008, same thing. Copper peaks, then tanks, same with S&P 500. However, in 2020 COVID crash, Copper fell hard in December 2019 before S&P 500 crashed in Feb 2020. So if we do look back the past 40 years, copper has definitely sometimes caught the top before a crash. But here's the problem. In many other periods, copper crashed at the same time as stocks or even earlier without a recession following. So is copper a useless signal? No. But it's not the magic bullet that people make it out to be. The smart move is to watch copper alongside other key indicators like the yield curve, manufacturing data, and my favorite 18.6 year cycle. And right now, in the 18 year cycle, we're in a late stage market, historically the danger zone, and copper is now at all time high. If it starts reversing sharply, history says the crash might not be very far behind. Now Warren Buffett wouldn't speculate on copper itself, but he would use copper to test the resilience of his portfolio. Are your holdings built to survive a downturn, strong earnings, low debt, durable advantage? If not, Copper's warning is your wake-up call. I do break down all kinds of these market signals in my free newsletter, where I also cover stock insights and market cycles. Link in bio. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Do you think copper is worth watching or just hype? Do let me know.